Hi everybody, my name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. So if you like perfume and also if you enjoy ASMR, you are in a good place for our video today. Alright, so today I am doing a review of um, By the Fireplace by the replica line from Mesa Margiela. As you can see, I I have a um, Trio travel spray set, which came with Jazz Club, By the Fireplace, and Autumn Vibes. So here is By the Fireplace. It's in this 10 milliliter travel spray. Um, the only one that I'm actually keeping from this set is Autumn Vibes. Um, and then I also have Jazz Club. I don't have it here right now, but um, I think I already should have posted the reviews for Autumn Vibes and for Jazz Club. And now I'm doing the review for By the Fireplace. Um, and I'll talk about it and what I smell and my thoughts on it. I will also, towards the end of the video, briefly touch on the other replica fragrances that I own, Sailing Day, and Coffee Break. And like I said, I do own Autumn Vibes, the little travel spray that I just got, but um, I just posted a video on that, so I'll let you watch the video if you haven't. So, by the fireplace, this is definitely a winter scent. Um, and this whole replica line, it the idea behind it is that it's replicating um, moments in time for like a sensory atmospheric experience. So in this case, it's the idea of, I, I assume, sitting by the fireplace during the winter holidays time, um, that kind of smoky, festive sp smell. I'm curious, there might be a description not on the box, but on their website about it. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's what they're replicating in this By the Fireplace scent. And as always, I dress on theme, so today I just happened to be wearing this, which I thought worked because it's like a cozy kind of like hoodie in kind of like a nice um, deep red. So kind of good for like Christmas holiday. And then I put on this shawl, which makes it even cozier and kind of reminds me of like a blanket or something. So that is what I'm wearing today to match the feel of the fragrance. Okay, so I'm going to start off by spraying this fragrance and just giving it a smell and letting you know my initial thoughts. I did wear this fragrance one day, but I only sprayed it once on um, my wrist because it's a fairly strong scent and I was pretty certain I wasn't going to wind up keeping it, although I do like the smell, but so I just did a, a subtle bit and it was nice, but it, it did confirm that I'm not going to wind up keeping the fragrance. My daughter was sleeping out in the car seat, and I think she's woken up. If you hear little squeals, she sounds happy. But if she starts to cry, I'm going to have to go and get her. Okay, so anyway. Um, this, this is very, like, this has a lot of depth to it. It's very woody, almost a little ashy. It's like mm, smoky, but not in like a super smoky or like incense -y way. It's almost, it almost has like that like chestnuts on an open fire sort of smell. But yeah, it's kind of like, I would assume maybe like ambery. It's not sweet per se, but it has like a, almost like a caramelized depth to it. It does come off a little nutty. I think there might be a nut, nut note in here, like chestnuts, for example. Um, but yeah, and it definitely, it has a candle vibe to me. Like this to me would make a phenomenal candle, especially cause it's not overly sweet. So, um, yeah. 
so yeah, like lightly sweet, but got so much depth, like kind of woodiness, amberiness, nuttiness, in a little bit of like a toasty way. So that's what I'm getting. Um, and yeah, let's start off by reading, I'm on for Grantica, let's start off by reading the main accords that we have listed. So we have woody, vanilla, balsamic, warm spicy, amber, powdery, nutty, musky, soft spicy, and sweet. Yeah, that balsamic accord, that makes a lot of sense to me, um, as in like resinous. So it definitely does have like a resinous feel. I'm not sure if it has, yeah, I'm not sure like what, what the notes are. I haven't actually looked in quite like a year or so, so I'm curious to look. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the notes. So um, according to for Grantica, we have three top notes and they are cloves, pink pepper, and orange blossom. And I get a touch of cloves, maybe a touch of pink pepper as well. I don't get any orange blossom. Then in our middle notes, we've got three middle notes. They are chestnut, guyac wood, and juniper. Definitely I'm getting that. I'm getting the chestnut, the guyac wood and a bit of juniper, but I would say I'm more so getting like a woody in terms of the like wood, the um, bark and the actual wood versus like needles. So I don't know if when they say juniper, they mean like the needles or the wood or the berries. Um, okay, and then for our base notes, we've got three base notes. They are vanilla, Peru balsam, and cashmere. I'm definitely getting a touch of vanilla. I feel like I'm more so getting the Peru balsam and I'm getting the vibe of the cashmere in as well. Adds like a nice, almost light woody, powdery kind of feel. So overall, what I mostly get from this fragrance is the chestnut, Peru balsam, guyac wood, juniper, vanilla, cashmere in with just a touch of spices on the top coming from the cloves and pink pepper. So really, all of the notes in here make sense to me and I pretty much get all of them except for the orange blossom. I really don't get that. But yeah, I'm gonna show the boats on Fragrantica and see what other people say they smell. They say that they first and foremost get vanilla, then chestnut, guyac wood, cloves, peru balsam, cashmere in, pink pepper, juniper, and then orange blossom. So interestingly enough, I wouldn't say I get the vanilla as like my first pick, but I think as the dry down continues, I definitely could see that. But I feel like I more so maybe get like the chestnuts or the peru balsam. And maybe it's just because those notes are not typically they're just not common notes in fragrances like they exist but they're not as common as vanilla so they stand out to me a lot more so that's why i would say like that's what i noticed first versus like it definitely does have vanilla but i don't really think of it as a vanilla fragrance so yeah okay um Oh, my daughter is crying, so I'm going to go grab her, and I will be back shortly. Okay, I am back. So let's briefly touch on the other two fragrances that I own in my collection. Let's first touch on Sailing Day. This fragrance has a very, very different smell and feel from By the Fireplace, I would say. This is much more a spring or uh, more so even summer fragrance. It is replicating the feel of being out on the ocean, sailing. Um, so it's just very fresh and clean. Um, it has aldehydes in it, which really give it a sparkly clean feel. Sorry, I'm all winded from running up and down the stairs. Um, and then it has um, marine 
No, I can't remember. Let's see. It's like a, either C, C, uh, C notes. C notes, which to me comes off in like an airy way. So I would think of it as like C air. So it's like slightly salty, but airy. It's got those aldehydes in it. It's got a bunch of other notes, but really it's... I just think of it as a very fresh, squeaky clean, marine, unisex fragrance. So that, sorry, that is sailing a day. And then we've, I've also got Coffee Break. And this fragrance is, I would say it's a gourmand, but it's um, not your typical gourmand. It is sweet, but not overly so. And it's got some interesting niche nuances. So um, it does have vanilla. It also has coffee and milk, so you, I, I like to think of it as like a vanilla latte. And then in addition to that, there is lavender, which is one of the main notes that comes through. So it's like a lavender vanilla latte. It's very fluffy. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. Um, it's kind of light. It doesn't, it's not super strong or projecting. It's like a light little cloud. It's got some other like aromatic notes and some other vanillic type notes like tonka bean and benzoin. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. It's like a very fluffy, um, nuanced, uh, gourmand. So yeah, that's coffee break. Um, okay, so those are my other two fragrances that I own from the line, besides Autumn Vibes. And back to By the Fireplace. Um, let's just briefly go over some other information on this fragrance, um, according to Fragrantica. So, it has an overall rating of 4.24 out of 5, with... 16 and a half thousand votes. So that means it's been voted on many times and people really like it because that's a very, very good rating. Um, and it was launched in 2015. So it's been around for just about 10 years. Um, so very popular fragrance, probably one of, if not maybe the best in their whole lineup. I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, very much like a holiday scent. So I imagine when I post this video, this video will be in like November or December. So great sort of holiday scent for that time. Let's read some of the pros and cons that are listed on Fragrantica. Under pros, it says great for winter and holiday season, very realistic fragrance, evocative and transports you to memories of sitting by the fireplace, mixes sweet vanilla with smoky notes, comforting and familiar smell, better than 95% of niche fragrances. That's kind of a random thing to say. Okay, and then under cons, it says linear scent, negative reviews are voted down, creating biased opinions, may smell too much like a Christmas candle, not as great as other fragrances from the brand. I mean, that's all, obviously this is all subjective, but I do agree, it kind of reminds me a little more of like a candle scent than a fragrance, but, um... That wouldn't stop me from wearing it at all if I liked it enough personally to wear. For me, it's just probably a little too heavy, maybe like a little too smoky. Um, I just like my fragrance to be a little bit more subtle. So this is a really nice scent, but it's just very strong. Okay, and then let's finish up by reading a few personal reviews on Fragrantica. So somebody says, I wouldn't have believed I would like a perfume like this, but it's so nice. Woody, cozy, with a little bit of vanilla, slightly spicy, but not too sweet. Name is By the Fireplace, and it suits the perfume perfectly. Looking forward to buy this perfume for myself. Okay, somebody who does not like it said, I liked it at first, but, it, but as time went on, I became... This milky, sickly, it became this milky, sickly, sweet smell that made me nauseous 
and no matter how much I wished my arm how much I washed my arm it would not go away it doesn't smell realistic to me at all just synthetic overpowering sweetness so perhaps I got a bad sample it doesn't read as super sweet to me it's if you took out all the spicy notes and all the woody notes maybe but like because all that's there it's very balanced to me okay somebody says smoky 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 smells like a campfire in the woods I very much like it but it gives me a headache I could see that I don't remember having a headache from it because I just sprayed it once on my wrist clothing but I remember with Jazz Club the other fragrance in um in this trio I did get a headache from that and it might have been because of the smokiness might have been because of the booziness I'm not sure but I could see how the scent could give you a headache okay um somebody else says I love this very unisex sexy fragrance smoky truly congruent with the name has a slight gorgeous sweetness to it the dry down is delicious one of the sexiest fragrances I've smelled in my opinion kind of does something to me okay and lastly someone says photorealistic fire smoke that's really it becomes a bit sweeter on the dry down I like to sample it again so in the future to see if I like it more but for now it's a pass um, if I burn the right type of wood and stand next to the fire for a while, I can smell like this for free. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, everybody, that is my review of Mesa Margiela's Replica by the Fireplace. Like I said, you can check out my other Replica fragrance reviews that I posted recently of Jazz Club and Autumn Vibes. I know I also I think I also have one for sailing day up and I'm not sure about coffee break I think I might have one for coffee break I might not anyway everybody um, that is my review I'm sending you all peace love joy peace love harmony and beauty I forgot my my four words but peace love harmony and beauty and joy why not joy 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 and I will catch you all again soon. Okay.